Today we're diving into a groundbreaking achievement in lunar exploration brought to us by the collaborative efforts of Chinese and French researchers. This mission, part of China's Chang'e 6 lunar probe, focuses on measuring the distribution of rotten gas and polonium on the moon. But why should you care? Understanding these elements helps us uncover the moon's atmospheric origins, soil properties, and dust dynamics. In this video, we'll explore the mission's objectives, key events, and the collaborative efforts that made it possible. By the end, you'll see why this mission is a significant leap in space exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission, equipped with the French detection of outgassing Radon Dorn payload, set out to measure radon gas and its decay products on the moon's surface. But what makes this payload special? Dorn is not only capable of detecting radon, but also measures charged particles in the lunar environment. This dual capability is crucial for understanding the moon's thin atmosphere, which is far less dense than Earth's. The primary scientific goals of the Dorn payload are multifaceted. First, it aims to study the origin and dynamics of the lunar atmosphere. Radon, a noble gas, is a decay product of uranium found in lunar rocks. By measuring radon, scientists can trace its movement and gain insights into the moon's geological activity and the release of gases from its interior. This information is vital for understanding the evolution of the lunar atmosphere over time. Secondly, the payload aims to study the thermal and physical properties of lunar soil. The distribution and movement of radon provide clues about the temperature and composition of the soil. This can help scientists determine the history of lunar volcanic activity and the presence of subsurface materials. Finally, Dorn's capability to measure charged particles allows researchers to study the interaction between the solar wind and the lunar surface. The moon lacks a magnetic field, so its surface is directly bombarded by solar particles. Understanding this interaction can reveal how the lunar surface is weathered and altered by space weather, contributing to our knowledge of lunar surface dynamics. This mission is the first to employ such advanced technology to measure radon and its decay products on the moon. The data collected will significantly enhance our understanding of the moon's atmosphere, soil, and surface processes, paving the way for future lunar exploration and potential human habitation. The Chang'e 6 mission was meticulously planned and executed, with several key milestones marking its progress. The journey began with the launch of the spacecraft on May 3rd, carrying four international payloads, including the Dorn. This international collaboration highlights the growing trend of global cooperation in space exploration. The first critical milestone occurred on May 6th, when the Dorn payload was activated during the lunar orbit cruise period, approximately 320,000 kilometers from Earth. The initial activation aimed to measure background noise in the space environment and detect any natural pollution on the lunar surface. This step was essential to ensure the payload's functionality and calibrate its instruments for accurate measurements. A significant event unfolded between May 10th and 11, when historic solar storms provided a unique opportunity for the Dorn payload. On May 17th, the payload was powered on again to measure the impact of these solar storms on the lunar environment. Over the next 32 hours, Dorn collected valuable data on the flux of charged particles in the solar wind and their decay over time. This data helped confirm the proper functioning of all 16 detectors in the RAD measurement instrument and provided insights into the lunar shielding effect on particle fluxes. On May 23rd, Dorn resumed its orbital measurements, this time focusing on the distribution of radon and polonium on the moon. Over a period of 111 hours, the payload gathered extensive data, revealing patterns and variations in the distribution of these elements across the lunar surface. This phase of the mission was critical for achieving the scientific objectives related to the lunar atmosphere and soil properties. The culmination of the mission occurred on June 2nd, when the Chang'e 6 lunar probe landed at the designated landing area in the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon. This region, known for its unique geological features, provided an ideal site for the final phase of measurements. Over the next two days, the radon gas detector conducted detailed measurements of the lunar surface, further enriching the dataset collected during the mission. Finally, on June 4th, as the ascender of Chang'e 6 took off from the moon with samples, 
the Dorn payload completed its detection mission and became a permanent resident on the far side of the moon. This successful mission timeline underscores the meticulous planning and execution required for deep space exploration and the valuable insights gained from each phase of the mission. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Chang'e 6 mission is the collaborative effort between Chinese and French researchers. This mission marks the first deep space collaboration between China and France, symbolizing a significant milestone in international cooperation for space exploration. The teamwork and shared expertise played a crucial role in the success of the mission, highlighting the importance of global partnerships in advancing our understanding of the universe. The French contribution, the Dorn payload, was developed with cutting-edge technology designed to measure radon gas and charged particles. The collaboration extended beyond just the development of the payload, it also involved joint operations and data analysis. Researchers from both countries worked together at the National Astronomical Observatories of China to operate the radon gas detector and analyze the data beamed back to Earth. This partnership allowed for the exchange of knowledge and expertise, enhancing the overall quality and depth of the research. The success of this mission has set the stage for future collaborations. China's upcoming Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions are already planning to include international scientific instruments. The Chang'e 7 mission will carry six international payloads, continuing the trend of global cooperation. Chang'e 8, which aims to offer 200 kilograms of international payload capacity, has already garnered over 30 applications from various countries, indicating a high level of interest and participation from the global scientific community. These future missions will build on the achievements of Chang'e 6, using the data and insights gained to further our understanding of the moon. The collaborative efforts will continue to play a crucial role in these missions, with international teams working together to explore new scientific frontiers. This spirit of cooperation not only advances scientific knowledge, but also fosters a sense of unity and shared purpose among nations. The collaborative achievements of the Chang'e 6 mission underscore the potential of international partnerships in space exploration. By combining resources, expertise, and technology, countries can achieve more significant scientific breakthroughs and pave the way for future exploration endeavors. This mission has demonstrated that when nations work together, the possibilities for discovery and innovation are limitless. The Chang'e 6 mission has been a remarkable achievement in lunar exploration thanks to the collaborative efforts of Chinese and French researchers. The successful measurement of radon gas and polonium on the moon has provided valuable insights into the lunar atmosphere, soil properties, and surface dynamics. This mission not only advances our understanding of the moon, but also sets the stage for future international collaborations in space exploration. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the spirit of cooperation and shared knowledge will be key to unlocking new discoveries and expanding our horizons. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.